Most anticipated K-dramas of Q3, July to September. The K-drama world has a lot in store for us, and it shows no signs of slowing down. From the top star Lee Jon Suk's comeback in a Korean drama to Kim Se Jong's new drama following the success of a business proposal, there's plenty for everyone to enjoy. Make sure to check each K-drama on this list to see which one has the best chance of becoming your next favorite. Please keep in mind that the following Korean drama premiere dates are subject to change. Reaction time! My K-drama K-pop heart is racing. With some K-drama and K-pop idols on this list, find them in spots number one and number three. Number one, Big Mouth. Our male protagonist is a lawyer with a 10% success rate only. He speaks grandly, earning the nickname Big Mouth from those around him. He becomes embroiled in a murder case and must now protect himself and his family. His wife helped him become a lawyer. She used to be quiet, but now she is foul-mouthed. This is one of the most anticipated Korean dramas airing in the third quarter of the year. After completing his military service, fans are waiting for Lee Jong Suk's comeback on the small screen. Finally, we're getting to see him in a K drama again. What made it even more exciting is that he'll be sharing the screen with famous idol actress Im Yuna. Are you enjoying this video so far? Press that like button as it really helps us out. And thanks as always for your kind support. Number 2. Little Women The story of three close sisters who grew up in poverty will unfold in Little Women. The eldest sister seeks to use money to protect her family. The second sister is a news reporter who stands up for what is right and refuses to be swayed by money. Meanwhile, with her innate skill, the youngest enters an art high school. These three sisters will be involved in a major incident that will shake up their lives. You might be pretty familiar with the actresses who will play as sisters. We have Kim go Eun from Goblin, Nam Ji Hyun from 100 Days My Prince, and Park Ji Hoo from All of Us Are Dead. Are you looking forward to seeing how these actresses complement each other's roles? We are too. Number 3. Tell Me Your Wish Ji Chang Wook and Chae Soo Young Okay, I definitely want to see how this will unfold. I'm hopeful these two famous stars bring us amazing chemistry. The life of our male lead has been rocky, and he's having difficulties trying to live a normal life. He spent time in an orphanage, a juvenile detention center, and prison. As a result of an occurrence, he begins volunteering at a hospice. He'll be working with a volunteer team leader and a nurse. Number 4. Today's Webtoon After an unfortunate accident, a woman is forced to leave her athletic career and finds life bringing her to a Webtoon editorial department. Despite the obstacles, she strives to become a true Webtoon editor. As a previous member of the Judo national team, she has a big appetite, a keen sense of smell, and cauliflower ears, which are typical of fighters. Following her successful rom-com, A Business Proposal, Kim Se-jong will be back on our screens. She's giving us another comedy drama with Che Daniel and Nam Yoon Soo in today's webtoon. Number 5. The Law Cafe The Law Cafe brings us the one and only Lee Seung Gi and the Red Sleeves Lee Se Young. Fans are delighted to watch these two renowned actors in a drama, as they've both proven their strong acting abilities. Formerly regarded as a monster genius, our male lead is a former prosecutor and is now a building owner. Meanwhile, our female protagonist is a stunning lawyer who isn't afraid to display her fiery side when confronted with injustice. We'll get to see the happenings revolving around a law company that also operates as a cafe. Number 6. 1001 Lawyer Only charging 1,000 won for his services. Our male lead is a lawyer with an unusual style, 
don't be fooled by the low cost of his services. He is one of the best lawyers around. He goes head to head with the most expensive lawyers and their wealthy clients who might be attempting to get away with violating the law. A prosecutor's assistant comes into the plot. What better way to spend your time than with a drama from Nam Gun Min, one of the best K-drama actors out there. Nam Gun Min never fails to deliver an exceptional performance. He'll be playing the lawyer who only charges a thousand won in this drama. Number 7. Adamas Adamas tells the story of twin brothers who want to find the truth regarding their biological father's alleged murder of their stepfather. Get to know the twins. One is a best-selling mystery novel author and the other is a prosecutor. Despite their similar appearances, their personalities are exact opposites. Adamas also introduces us to the sole daughter of a hospital director and a righteous and passionate social media reporter. We always love the feeling of holding our breaths and anticipating the character's next moves. Whenever we find ourselves lost in a thriller and mystery drama, how exciting. We are hoping Adamas can pull it off. Chances of that are high because actor Ji Sung, with his acting prowess, will be present in this drama. From his outstanding performances in dramas including Kill Me, Heal Me and Defendant, fans anticipate another excellent portrayal. Sa Ji Hae from Crash Landing on You and Lee Soo Kyung from Law School will appear alongside the talented actor. Number 8. Joseon Psychiatrist Yu Se Poon Taking us back to the Joseon era, this historical drama introduces us to a conscripted official with extraordinary abilities who has become a royal palace legend. However, he suffers a trauma every time a needle is taken. One thing led to another until he got expelled from the royal court and lost his ability as an acupuncturist. Entering the story is a helpless widow who feels wronged and eventually becomes a psychiatrist. Just a little background on this one. This is the drama that made headlines where its filming team was involved in a car accident, killing one member of the team. We extend our heartfelt condolences to their families and close friends. We're so sorry for this tragic loss. However, the drama did continue. And on a brighter note, viewers are looking forward to seeing Kim Min Jae and Kim Hyung Gi together. Young actors and up-and-coming stars are pretty refreshing and enjoyable to watch since we get to see them bloom on camera as they grow into much more brilliant stars in the future. Number 9. Remarriage and Desires Are you looking for a Korean drama with elements of matchmaking and marriage? If so, add remarriage and desires to your watch list. The drama tells the story of a woman who desires to marry an eligible bachelor and rise to the top level of society. To achieve this, she goes through an exclusive matchmaking agency. Kim Hee Sun is back with another K-drama this year after a stellar performance in the recently finished fantasy drama Tomorrow. I'm curious as to what kind of role she'll be performing this time. Joining her to entertain us is actor Lee Hyun Wook. Number 10. The Police Station Next to Fire Station Meet the detective team's inspector. He is the epitome of what it means to be a perfect cop. Nothing can stop him if he has his mind set on something. He's good at reading criminals' minds, in addition to his fighting spirit and sharp eyes. In for a thrilling story, the story of the police catching criminals and the fire department putting out fires is told in the police station next to fire station. This Korean drama will include a tough detective, a kind paramedic, and a firefighter. This K-drama stars Kim Rae Won from Luca, The Beginning, Son Ho Joon from Was It Love, and Gong Sun Young from Bulgasal Immortal Souls.
Number 11, Three Siblings Bravely. A family drama awaits us in the third quarter of the year. Three Siblings Bravely is on the way to bringing us humor, romance, and a family story. Family dramas are usually enjoyable to watch because most of what they present hits reality and touches our hearts. I wonder if Three Siblings Bravely will be able to achieve that. The drama centers on three siblings with strong personalities. The story will mainly revolve around the eldest daughter of Kay and about Kay's eldest son. From comedy, mystery, thriller, and more, which of these Korean dramas captured your interest? As I stated at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty drawn to K-dramas on spots number 1 and number 3. And don't forget to let us know which K-dramas you added to your watch list. We'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching, MDLers. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm your host, Happy Squeak.